Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your Thursday, July 14th, 2022 Mystic Affirmations. Remember, this is a collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. That means if you'd like to have a personal reading, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your reading. So on we go into our beautifully relentlessly optimistic, positively positive energy to use the law of attraction, the law of divine compensation, and our ability to focus from right now, right here, and move forward. We're leaving the past in the past where it belongs, and we're creating from the now. This is where our power is, and that's what we're going to do. Let's see what's going on. We have the Eight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. So the Eight of Swords is the energy of over-analysis paralysis. We don't want to overthink it. We just want to be still and let the universe move things in the natural while we focus on our goal in the supernatural, in the energy of the quantum. And as we do that, it looks like most of us are focusing on that Ten of Pentacles energy, which is money, 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 money. We'll take it. This is money, money, money. So... The Ten of Pentacles is the release of the burden of having to try to find money or to be in lack of money. This is a, an abundance of money. It's a lifetime of abundance of money. So whatever that means to you, everybody's got a different number. Understand that this can be in a lump sum or as a job or some kind of overtime payment. So we'll take it any way it's coming. The universe will provide. So... Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light, divine spirit, the knight of swords, the energy of very fast moving out of the blue, like a lightning strike, it's coming in. So whatever this is, is happening fast, whether it's your divine intuition that suddenly becomes aware of it, or you actually get a message or someone reaches out to you about it. Maybe somebody contacting you that you know, telling you about a job or some kind of abundance you can attain. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods, and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all Sun, Moon, and Rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So we have the movement on the Monday. We like the Ten of Pentacles. That is a great card to start with. And we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is the Apprentice card. This is where we're learning a new skill or we're honing a skill we already have. So allowing yourself to be in this energy is the energy of the apprentice learning and being a good student. And then mastering that skill to the point where it actually does become part of your abundance. Gratitude. Gratitude will get you everywhere. I try to wake up the moment my mind becomes conscious that I'm in this reality and I'm in my physical form. I say thank you universe and I literally put my hands in a prayer uh, position because I just want to wake up automatically grateful. I am grateful for and appreciate all the abundance I have in my life today. So if you just say thank you it's good enough. You don't have to get specific on this. Just be in the energy of happiness and, and being grateful. When you start your day off in the, in the grateful energy, the universe will confirm things to you for you to be grateful for, right? Instincts. I act on my instincts and notice the signs and symbols in my life. Let me tell you, there are so many things that, that come through for me. And, and so the language of... of of people is is verbal but the language of spirit is symbolism so allow yourself to recognize when something's showing up in a pattern or something that only you would recognize um, I have several of those specific things that pop into my life and show me when things are you know when things are the way they are they confirm it with the symbols for me Getting more information is always one. Be in a place of learning. Always be a student of life. Allow yourself to absorb and receive all information coming in because 
The universe is constantly teaching. I can honestly tell you there's not been one day where I can tell you that I've mastered life because it is so vast. And the universe is even bigger than life. So allow yourself to be open to all incoming information. And sometimes we teach ourselves lessons by the things, the choices we make, right? <laughs> I've been a student of my own, of my own lessons before. <laughs> Delight. Oh, I love this card. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The more delight we feel, the more delight we evoke in others. So being a happy, jolly soul literally causes other people to be happy and jolly around you. You give them kind of that spark to ignite their own joy. And, and being in that energy also helps you to be in a better place as far as your health and, and all relationships, right? Manifestation is our card today at the bottom of the deck. Believe in yourself. Trust your instincts. That was the card over there. And follow your heart. For in doing so, you shall manifest all your heart desires. The life you have so long aspired to create is will soon manifest and Absolutely, we'll take that as a, a confirmation. Thank you, universe. Invitation. We, your guardians, guardian angels, ask you to invite us into your heart. Talk to us at any time. Share with us your fears and concerns, as well as your joys and pleasures. There is no need to be formal, for we, are, uh, for we have known you before the dawn of time. In fact, we know you better than you know yourself, and we love you just as you are. So, I don't know about y'all, but I'm always talking to Archangel Michael. He's he's my go-to angel, but I also know that Ariel and Uriel and Raphael and Gabriel, and there are many others, um, especially, like, uh, so some of the angels um, are different in different religions, but they're still archangels, like Metatron, for example, he's holding Metatron's cube, and that's the Metatron energy. He is an ascended angel from a human. He was Enoch in the biblical. In, in, he's one of uh, only a few. I, I know of one more, but there might have been a third. But that, that's all that's recorded, that these people have ascended from human form into angelic uh, guardian angels. He is the keeper of the Metatron's cube, which is the Merkaba expanded out of course but it is the, the seed and the knowledge and the blueprint for all existence so it's pretty important information we have the four of pentacles here which is talking about financial abundance money in the bank being financially secure we love that energy we'll take it when you got the ten of pentacles you can be secure right and then we have the king of wands this is the fire sign king so aries leo and Sagittarius king. It is also the king of, he is related to uh, jobs, leadership, entrepreneur, if you own your own business, somebody who's always in the, in the action mode, for sure, getting things done, making things happen. And the tower. So the tower's coming in, like that lightning strike we talked about earlier. Something shifts and moves this obstacle out of your way as it knocks it down and frees you from what's holding you captive and what that Eight of Swords energy was. It sweeps that out and, and clears the path for you. So, my darlings, this is a beautiful, beautiful energy. I send you lots of love, light, peace, happiness, joy, and abundance, and, of course, prosperity and divine healing. And don't forget, you can never learn too much. Allow yourself to be open to whatever comes your way and investigate it. If you don't know much about it, there's no excuse. We have the inter interwebs. They are very, very thorough. <laughs> so, and I'm not saying to believe everything, but at least look at a couple of things and see if they coincide. So many blessings to you, my friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Namaste.